everybody, Adam from Atlas Gunworks. Um, we've got a little bit of a shadow cast here on this while we talk about anodizing. Um, and the problem is the lights in here are too bright. You can't really see if we don't do this. So get a lot of questions about anodizing and it's um, it's really hard to explain to folks. But basically anodizing is a, a chemical process. So there's no heat involved and you're dipping uh, aluminum into a chemical and the chemical is going to get a color change. The issue is that we're getting, if you take this gold, for example, three different shades of gold from the uh, company, well, they're all running it the same way. The issue is, is that over time, the chemicals change a little bit. So batch to batch, they are very much different. Uh, gold's probably the worst one we fight. I mean, those those are just different colors. We're getting companies that work for us telling us that that's completely normal. That's fine. That's within three shades. That's kind of how they can do it. Um, the blue, you see a little less here in person, but um, the, the blues, there's really four different blues here. And these three are close. Um, and this one's clearly different, but these three under normal, you know, daylight lighting conditions are, uh, are very different. And then these gold triggers probably accentuate that color a whole lot better. Um, as you start to look at how different all those are, again, all from the same anodizer, all run at the same color. Um, um, you know, each color has a number, so the same number and just wild variation. So we're doing our best here to control this, but. It's a, it's a process that not just us, but everybody in both our industry and other industries struggle with. So um, bear with us as we try to be good. If you order parts at the same time, we will try to color match them as best as we can. And then when they're way out, like this is a pretty odd color. I don't know that we would ship that to anybody on our normal circumstance. I think those are going to get thrown out. Um, but we are, we, you know, we are screening as heavily as we can um, to try to get those to, to work. But it's what it's kind of an industry thing. Anodizing is a, a difficult task to be very consistent with. Hopefully that helps explain it. I wish we had a better answer. Um, no, we'll never do anodizing in house. It's uh, it's not something that we are going to be good at or interested in. So hopefully we continue to fight the process and um, work with different vendors to try to improve the consistency. But it's always an ongoing battle. Hope to see you on the range soon.